What's up everybody, Unrested back again on my way home from an actual very important business meeting. Well, I should say client meeting. As you can see, I even went full out with a tie and a suit shirt. So, it's pretty hardcore for me. I don't really dress up too often. Uh, but, for those of you who always ask and say, Scott, do you ever wear long sleeves when you have to go to those client meetings? Yeah, of course I have to wear long sleeves when I go to the client meetings. You know, you're still putting on an appearance for somebody and trying to make them comfortable in a business environment, so you need to do what you need to do to get your clients. Don't be ridiculous, all right? I know you may think, well, that's taboo for them, but you're an artist and you should show your true spirit. Well, there's being an artist and showing your true spirit and then needing to make money to pay for your family to eat, so I'll be very willing to hide my tattoos if it means I get another client. Anyway, that said, let me go ahead and first jump in with thanking everybody for the great response to uh, the Old and Youth and I's uh, Halloween Yokai collab video. Uh, we got a really good response from that. We had tons of views within the first couple of minutes it was up. Really a lot of positive feedback. I was a little bit iffy on myself, you know. You guys probably think I go on maybe sometimes with a lot of confidence on these since I've been doing over 200 of them, but sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit cheesy with what I say, especially in the video. But I uh, got such a great response on it. And we had actually some great questions from people. People started to announce other different types of patrons and gods and deities and demigods within uh, mythology, Shintoism, and Buddhism. And, they start to ask, well, what, what are these classified as? And that's honestly a really good educated question. Uh, you know, you can always say there is no such thing as a dumb question, but there are such things as redundant questions that I get asked again and again, which I get quite a bit of in JFAC at this point, having done over 200 of them. Do I need a college degree to get an English job in Japan? <sighs> Google, look it up sometime. But people, honestly, you sent me some of the best questions I've ever had. People, one of the ones, and you can take a look in there now, I forget the name of the user who asked, what well, is a Shinigami a uh, yokai? And that's actually a really good question because it, I mean, take a look at it, it, you know, it means the death god, right? If you translate that. And if you look at Gami, it's actually like a kana change for Kami, uh, like many kana that change when the kanji is next to a different kanji. And so that actually puts it in the category of a god. If we're to be really specific, it would be a god. And in turn, Olden Youth and I talked about that and we said, hey, this opens up a whole new window to a different JFAC in which we could talk about gods. Why did we not do that in this one? And I thought, well, maybe we would have gone overboard with that had we tried to fit in spirits, patrons, and all that on top of it. So. In the future, maybe look forward, well not maybe, definitely, we will most likely be attempting another illustrated JFAC, just like that last one, yes, we illustrated everything in there, in case you didn't know. Um, we'll be doing another one in which we talk about gods and patrons and deities and all different types of stuff, because you'd be surprised, Shintoism especially has a bajillion patrons within it. Even every single little Shinto shrine out here has tons of different patrons and I'd like to work in if I can visiting some of them and actually showing some of the shrines connected to these different patrons that would actually be wonderful if I could do that another small announcement and this is just a video of announcements is uh, soon and and this is just in the works and it's actually not going to be starting up until 2014 but it has been confirmed through, I guess I could say investors, that's the best way to um, proclaim or name or title that, um, that I will be, I don't want to say attempting, I will say starting my own company. Um, and that will be connected to my artwork. I am getting to a point with the artwork where I am getting more jobs, more commissions, than I can actually physically handle. Although I do work quite a bit, I do still have a family that needs me to be around and alive for them. I cannot work myself to death over this, and I'm at a point now where I'm already working almost 12 hours on art every day. And I'm getting enough commissions now where 
I need to start skimming off some of the overflow and handing it down, delegating it down. And that doesn't mean I'm going to start some mega corporation, do all kinds of like logos for major companies. I'm still going to pretty, it's pretty small scale stuff we're talking about here. But I am actually going to be going through the procedure of actually getting a business registered and uh, registering with my local ward office starting a business as of yet the name has not been confirmed we're debating between two different names one that might actually be connected to this channel and that's actually going to connect some new jfax into this channel too now it's not actually an attempt to sell anything more so an attempt to promote stuff and by doing that i want to continue to do it the way i've always known and that's free all right, I don't really expect anybody to go out and pay for any of my content, especially when I started out with these grassroots of being a free video for you to watch. And that means I'm going to start doing a few JFox called How to Draw JFax on how to draw um, some Japanese stuff, uh, Japanese style dragons, fish, symbols. Uh, I'm not going to get into kanji really because I, I still feel like that's uh, more language based. Perhaps eventually. I will start to get into the Shindo, which is like the calligraphy side of it. So that may eventually take off here too a little bit, but for the most part I'm going to stick to some of the classic Japanese stuff you think of when you think of Japanese style Edo era art, because that's a lot of my first training that I had in the style here was in those styles. A lot of the Hokusai manga and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and get into that a little bit later. And those are just the couple of announcements I wanted to go ahead and let you in on today and let you know what's coming up for future uh, episodes of JFAC. Until next time, I'm unrested. This is JFAC. I'll see you again.